Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace the main shaft components of the Gilson SS15 8 inch sieve shaker. At this point we have disconnected the SS15 from any power supply and laid it on its left side making sure you do not pinch the electrical cord. Note the spacing of each component on the main shaft and the deflection of the belt for reassembly later. Inspect all components of the SS15 for signs of mechanical wear. Loosen the four motor mounting bolts on the top of the outer case. Next, move the motor up to allow enough clearance for the removal of the drive belt from the motor pulley. Now loosen the five set screws touching the main shaft pulley, the counterweight, the two set screws for the eccentric locking collar, and the main shaft collar. To loosen the two eccentric screws, you first loosen the set screw on the eccentric locking collar, and then slide the collar to the right to loosen the second set screw on the eccentric. Next, remove the two yoke bushing shoulder bolts. This will free the eccentric assembly and the main shaft. Now push the main shaft to the left, toward the front of the unit. Remove and inspect the old drive belt and replace as necessary. Next, remove the sieve platform with yoke and set it aside. Remove the components on the main shaft by sliding them to the right and off the shaft. Now push the main shaft to the right and out the back of the case. Inspect all components, including the main shaft bushings, for any signs of wear and replace as needed. Now slide the main shaft into the outer case from the back and push it far enough to the front of the unit to replace the components on the shaft. Notice that the end of the flat spot on the main shaft should be inserted first into the back of the outer case. Place components on the main shaft in the same order during removal. Now place the drive belt back on the main shaft pulley. Push the main shaft to the right until it's flush with the outside of the back cover. Now position the main shaft pulley so it touches the main shaft bushing. Tighten the set screw on the main shaft pulley. Place the sieve platform assembly with yoke through the oval hole. Be sure to align the sieve retainer frame within the sieve retainer frame guide bushing. And then position the eccentric within the yoke. Using the two yoke bushing shoulder bolts, reattach and tighten the yoke to the eccentric. Now tighten the set screw on the eccentric against the flat spot on the main shaft. Slide the eccentric locking collar over the eccentric set screw and tighten the set screw on the eccentric locking collar. Slide the counterweight over next to the eccentric and secure with the set screw. Next, place the main shaft collar against the main shaft bushings and secure with the set screw. Be sure that the main pulley and the main shaft pulley are lined up properly to avoid excessive belt wear. Now tighten the four motor mounting bolts on the top of the outer case, causing the belt to return to its original operational tension. The drive belt should deflect no more than one eighth inch. And return the SS15 to its upright position. For any questions concerning the SS15 sieve shaker, or any other Gilson product, please contact the Gilson Technical Support Team.